And the big question is, where's the Justice Department? Where's Durham? Where's uh, Gen Attorney General Barr? I don't think he's made any comment on this yet. I mean, if, if I were him, I'd, 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 I'd be sending the FBI or the Marshal Service or an independent agency to the appropriate office in the Justice Department and have it raided. So Judicial Watch uh, was in the news again this week because we were in the news last week because we uncovered what is perhaps the biggest scandal of the modern um, of the Justice Department in uh, the last three years or four years, I guess, other than the spying on Trump, other than the illegal prosecution of General Flynn. But here we have the Mueller team that was purported to be the, the enforcers of the rule of law, making sure that uh, President Trump wasn't a crook, right? Harassing him, investigating him, targeting others around him with absurd and overblown charges, in my view. And it turns out, as Judicial Watch uncovered, they've been caught erasing all their phones. Or 27 of them, or 31, depends how you count they were erased or destroyed or whatever, but many of them, including two by Andrew Weissman, who is one of the infamous members of Mueller's team, were wiped because they put their passwords in too many times. Well, as you know, that's just baloney. If you're watching me, you probably never wiped your phone accidentally or even on purpose. One of the phones magically wiped themselves. Well, our revelations uh, caused a mini firestorm but because uh, it's criminality by the Mueller team, the media is interested in covering much of it. If it were uh, President Trump and his team, or uh, you know anyone who's on the wrong side of the dem uh, of the hard left, uh, they would have you would have been talking about. We would have been hearing comparisons to Nixon. So uh, 27 phones wiped by the Mueller team is a yawner for the dishonest liberal media. But it isn't a yawner for the American people who are outraged by this. Uh, there's been a groundswell of outrage, uh, so much so that members of Congress have reacted. Uh, you had Senator Grassley and Senator Johnson uh, uh, file up and demand an investigation from the IG, wanting to know why the IG hadn't done anything on this, because this was these were essentially IG documents that documented that not only were these uh, phones white, but also that uh, Page and Strzok's phones were also similarly um, uh, either not turned in or uh, also were set, quote, to factory settings in the case of Lisa Page. So the IG had this information, didn't do much anything about it. Doug Collins sent a letter to Apple, I guess it was Apple phones, asking, how, expl asking Apple to explain how it is you get the, how is it they phones get wiped with, uh, how is it Apple phones can get wiped? Because as you, um, as it's been made clear to me, is it's hard. The theory is you put in your password like 15 times in a row and it wipes you. Well, no one really ever does that. And Apple doesn't even make it, makes it hard to do it. You have to do it over a period of time or uh, they're kind of, you know, they're not gonna ruin their, their client, their uh, customer's phones simply because they, uh, put a password in once or twice incorrectly. So how, how is it done? And my point is that I don't know specifically, of course it doesn't make sense intellectually, but uh, Senator, uh, excuse me, Congressman Collins is asking for details so that we have a clearer understanding of what was going on. And the big question is, where's the Justice Department? Where's Durham? Where's uh, Gen Attorney General Barr? I don't think he's made any comment on this yet. I mean, if, if I were him, I'd, 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 I'd be sending the FBI or the Marshal Service or an independent agency to the appropriate office in the Justice Department and have it raided. Who raids the Justice Department when there's obstruction of justice and destruction of evidence? I don't know. I'm sure they can find someone. Maybe they can bring in the Postal Inspector Service and all sorts of law enforcement agencies that, you know, Postal Inspectors are, they're not dumb. They do some good work. U.S. Marshal Service is within the Justice Department, but is 
has kind of an independent streak. DHS has investigators. The military has investigators. There's all sorts of investigators that can be dragooned. In my view, the president should dragoon them or de deploy them, to put it more correctly, uh, in uh, to investigate this scandal. Because this is destruction of evidence and potential obstruction of justice. We know it's destruction of evidence. The question is, was it purposeful or not? And the evidence suggests it was, which would make it a crime. And um, so we have to keep on pushing for it. And the frustrating thing is that the, this same Justice Department is defending the indefensible with Hillary Clinton, as I've been discussing with you, slow walking the release of documents about the same group especially Lisa Page and Peter Strzok. Now, so what's going to happen with Durham? I don't know. I still don't think much is going to happen. Uh, Peter Strzok was asked by CBS News the other day uh, whether he was a target and refused uh, of the invest Durham investigation and refused to answer the question. Um, so maybe he is a target. I don't know. Maybe Peter Strzok gets indicted. I don't know. But you had all these uh, deposition subpoenas issued by uh, Senator Johnson, This, uh, or at least they were authorized by Senator Johnson and uh, Senator Lindsey Graham at the Judiciary Committee is uh, bringing in people, including, I think, James Comey. And my view is they wouldn't be inviting or deposing these people if they were at serious risk of prosecution. I mean, what happens is the Justice Department makes a phone call, Senator Graham and Attorney General Barr get on the phone and Barr says, hey, look, you know, you can't be bringing in Comey in. We're just about to indict him. And it wouldn't happen. And uh, the fact that it's happening suggests that Durham isn't going to do anything much against these uh, key people, if even the lower level people like Strzok. Not that Strzok wasn't key, but he was, uh, let's say, one, I would say he was one, two, three, he was four levels down the level three, two, and one people, they're not going to get indicted. I just don't see it happening. And if it doesn't happen, the president should appoint a special counsel. Because uh, in my view, the failure to indict or prosecute these folks for what went on would be an improper political decision. It's not a law and order decision. It would be a political decision. And frankly, if they're going to be making political, they're not, we shouldn't have a U.S. attorney making a political decision like of that import. They should have import for, input, input from, yes, the president of the United States. Because that's the only way things are going to get done. The president's got to take, a, take control of this investigation. Justice Department can't investigate itself. It just can't. And we're expecting it to do, we're expecting it to do, uh, to do that. And we're always disappointed. And I'm telling you, it's, it's inevitable that you're going to be disappointed because you're having the agency investigate itself. That's why I've been calling for separate investigations. And that's why Judicial Watch exists. So we can provide as best we're able to the oversight. As I said, we wouldn't know anything about these white phones, but for Judicial Watch. It'd still be covered up. So I'll keep you updated on that as the weeks go on. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to catch all the latest news from Judicial Watch.